Welcome to, to Workshop, Workshop Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm Steph. Hey, I'm Vicki. <laughs> and we are excited to be with you the second week of Workshop Wednesday, Yay. September 12th, 2018. 18. Yes. Uh, thanks do, for joining us. Yeah, thank you. We do want to give a shout out. Uh, last week we said leave a note in the comment below if you have seen all 14, well, now 15, really 15, 15 of our, garage, uh, makeover. garage makeovers. And uh, two people gave comments that made us believe they've seen them all. We want to give you a shout out. So the first one is Kyle from YouTube. He said, I've loved all your garage video makeover videos. It was amazing to see how it changed and improved. So thank you, thank Kyle, you Kyle, for watching. And then Angela on YouTube also said, I never miss your episodes, seen them all. I love it because I've seen them all too, and it's it's always very like encouraging to hear that other people have uh, have seen them and enjoyed them. So thank you, thank you. Yay. <laughs> I've seen them all too. I've edited them all and hey, seen them a lot of times. To wind <laughs> one up me. <laughs> one. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. That's okay. we do want to say um, this week we're posting a video. Um, we shared a little bit about last mm -hmm. week. We're sharing the Ryobi oh. storage video. Uh, so that's going to be posted tomorrow. I'll put links to, below to all of that. And that's the Ryobi expanded system. That we're storing. That yes. we're storing, yes. <laughs> and you know what? Steph did this all on her own. She just came up with the design. She built it. And it is so cool. I was so impressed with it when I, when I saw it. Those pieces go together with like a little button system. And she's utilized that little button system to hang them. And it's an easy way to put the pieces together while they're still on the wall. And even if you don't have the Ryobi expanded system, if you have tools that have that same kind of stick button system, it'll probably work, you'd be adapted to that. So it's very impressive. It's really good. <laughs> My mom is so yeah, proud of me. Proud. Yes. I am a moving school. on yes, now. Yes, moving on, yes. Oh, we're, we're, what we're working on. Yes. What we're working on. You know, it's gotten a little bit cooler. A little bit cooler here in Florida and this is actually a good time for yard work and I am currently pressure washing my driveway which is taking days because I have a really really long driveway you don't really realize how long your driveway is. And what is. part of the yard is the driveway? Well, it, well, it, well I know I know but it's outdoor. Okay it's, outdoor. A, <laughs> it's a good time for outdoor things and I'm 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 using a Ryobi pressure washer it's I think it's 2300 psi but um, it's doing the job, it's great. I've been really impressed with it. So we'll be doing a little review on that once I get all of that finished. And I, I am almost finished. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Welcome to Fast DIY. Do you have an old pan at your house that you're like, oh, this is not gonna work in the kitchen anymore? Well, we did, and we came up with a little, a, a quick DIY with it. We thought we might wanna share it with you guys because you might enjoy it. So the first thing you're gonna need is your pan. You're gonna need a metal cutting blade. So this is a Diablo metal cutting blade right here on our circular saw. And you're going to want a spray paint. We have a primer spray paint and a regular spray paint. And then we have some, uh, these are rare earth magnets that you can get in stores or online. And then we just have a, um, a quick setting glue right here. And the next thing is I'm going to make a line just so I have a line to follow when I'm cutting. So I'm just going to put this here and there we go. So I have a nice cutting line to work with. And then I'm going to put on my mask my hearing protection and eye protection and I'm going to go ahead then I'm going to go ahead and make this cut All right, I made that cut. And one thing you want to be aware of is metal does tend to spark. So make sure you're protected, make sure you have nice coverage on. So the next thing is this edge is going to be a little bit, um, uh, it's going to be a little rough. So I'm just going to sand that. All right, now I'm going to pass this on to mom and she's going to finish up this project. Next, I took it outside and I sprayed it with one coat of this primer. I let that dry. Once it was dry, I sprayed it with the blue paint. I brought it back inside and I used a little bit of the fast acting glue and rare earth magnets and let that dry. And now it's ready to put on my fridge. This is a great little storage pocket to store mail or recipe cards, your to-do list, all kinds of things. Today on Creator Shoutout, we want to feature one of our friends, Tamisha, and she is a creator at Toolbox Divas. 
We actually became familiar with her a couple years ago. We saw her on Home Talk Live, which is something we were also doing. So we became friends through online, basically talking to her online. And then we got to meet her in person a couple years ago at a conference. And we've been great friends ever since. We talk off and on pretty regularly. But recently she had a new project come out where she built a pergola with her friend in, in their, her friend's backyard. And what I really like about this video is she didn't really sugarcoat anything. She talked really honestly about some of the struggles they had and how they overcame them. It had some really good ideas if you're considering making a pergola in the future and things to consider. So if, if you want to check that video out, put a link to that below. And also check out all of her stuff because she has some really good projects. They're very similar to ours. She really shows uh, ideas for homeowners and empowers you guys to do things on your own. Hello and welcome to Project Follow Up. I'm here on my screen porch. We asked you guys yesterday what project you wanted to follow up on and you guys said my screen porch. So if you remember, this was actually our very first project that we did as Mother Daughter Projects and that was about three and a half years ago and we rescreened my porch. And the reason we did it was because we thought, or the reason we made the video is because we thought it was pretty, pretty simple to do. Well, it is holding up great. The screen, we really haven't had any issues with it. It's still right here working perfectly it could stand to be cleaned on the outside i could probably clean it i i don't think i've actually cleaned it in three and a half years so uh that's pretty good uh, i probably should clean it but um yeah it's held up really well and um we did have to rescreen the door and that's only because um well we had to rescreen the door because there was an unfortunate incident where my dad fell through the door it involved water balloons long story but we did rescreen the door uh, but other than that, we really haven't had any issues with it. We still think it's a very doable project that, that homeowners can do. And uh, we have added a little bit of some lights up here just for fun. But yeah, it's held up really well. That's our show. Thank you for joining us. I just want to remind you that we want to feature you at the end of each of our segments and we're calling that Try, Learn, Share. So you, if you have a project that you've done and you'd like to share it with um, other people who are like-minded just like you, go to um, the link below, click that, and you can find the forum where you can do that. And if you want to get a link to all of our new projects each week, you can sign up for our newsletter. Link below. Lots of links below. Again, a link below is um, to our giveaway. Don't forget that. It's for a, um, a value pack wall control, just like wall this, control. our wall control system in the choice of your color. We, of course, like the blue. But you can, again, click that link and you can go to that giveaway and that will be um, um, announced next week. And please let us know what you like about the show, what you don't. Give us feedback. We like to get that constructive feedback. Don't be mean, please. <laughs> so comment below, let us know what you think, and also share this video on YouTube. Uh, well, you can't really share it on YouTube. On Facebook. On Facebook. Yeah, share it. With <laughs> share it on Facebook yes. with your friends that you think would enjoy it. On Monday, we will again post a little tiny um, survey so you can just choose a thing you'd like us to talk about. We love things. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.